Do you know how easy it can be to filter through extensive amounts of data on Excel? It's actually really easy using dynamic arrays, and in this example, we're going to use restaurant sales across North America to show you how it's done. I want to see descending sales by state, so we'll create a dynamic array using the filter function. With the filter function, you're going to want to start off with an array. An array is typically a combination of rows and columns, and it is the information that's eventually going to be filtered. After you've defined the array, specify what to include. In this case, we want to include the column for state, as that is what we are filtering by. To finish off the formula, you want to specify a value within state that you want to see. Now it's beneficial to have a specific cell that dictates the array. So in this case, we have a cell up in J1 that has Massachusetts listed. When we point to a specific cell that signifies the value we want to see, we can close out the formula and are left with a clean view of Massachusetts sales. It's simple enough to change out the states to see their sales. Hope this helps!